Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Push, aka the Creative Queer, the Masculine Queen. I'm back with another video. Today I'm back with another one of my story times. And I think with this story, it kind of took me a long, long, long ass time to tell the story and to tell the story and sort of like be okay with the, the events of the story because I was really hurt. Um, post the happenings of this event i know it's now funny because i laugh about it but this had really really dribbled me i was not okay okay it took me a long time to get here but the healing is glorious darling so let me get into the story about how i was dribbled by what i'm gonna call a jobuk hand well let me say a jobuk and chakra hand because she was a combo of two so this is the story about how i got dribbled i hope you guys enjoy it let's get into the video Masamin. firstly i met this hun um i'm calling her amanda for the purposes of this video i met her on social media on instagram in particular um, and we hit it off really great from the jump. Um, she was very clear with her intentions. I liked the way she moved. She was very charming. Um, she had like big thick energy. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that. We had great conversations. Um, and we eventually agreed to meet and go on a date, our first date. It was beautiful. It was amazing. She got me flowers. I was so excited about what this could mean for the two of us. But you know, as life goes, things took a sharp curve. Uh, when I started to notice the first red flag, and I think um, this weekend in particular, uh, we wanted to spend it together. She was going to come over at my place, and I requested her to send me her address so that I can come fetch her. As long as I know romantic, eh? let me pull through. Send me your location. As I was in so I was like, send me your location, girl. I'm going to pull through um, and come get you so we can spend the weekend together. And she sent me her home address uh, where she stayed. She didn't stay too far from me. Um, and then about two hours before this date in particular, she sends me another message and she was like, um, actually, please come fetch me at this address. Um, I'm just, I just want to pop in with my friend quickly. We need to talk about work. And I was like, okay. And then that woman gave got an impale and type of thing because it didn't for me it didn't really make sense but you're going on a date why is Okala with Tomiako but it also kind of makes sense at the same time I could explain it where Flam you want to get ready with your friends because you're like excited and stuff so for me at this point it was really not a red flag and I was okay with it because like shop it's not it's it's whatever you know I went to go fetch her and I'm saying uh, we spent the whole weekend together again it was amazing it was great vibes just vibes guys just vibes come on eh? um and then uh, we're at the end of the weekend on the sunday you know lesbian dates okay see, see omnibus we don't just go on one date we go on an omnibus weekend special <laughs> your date um so we i had to drop her off now at the end of the date initially when i went to go fetch her she had said that she left the keys of her place with a friend because it was a fumigation over the weekend so i was like oh okay cool i don't care you're gonna come to my place it's not my business so now at the end of the weekend on the sunday i have to drop her back and she's like mm, the friend of mine who has my keys is like all the way in artis so just drop me off back at the friend's place where you fetch me from on friday so at that point um, and i was like okay don't you have a spare key and she's like no uh my spare key's at work and i'm like okay let's drive to your workplace like then you like girlfriend who's like here to mitigate each challenge and funny girlfriend and a challenge they can solve each challenge so i was like let's just go to work and get your keys and then so that i can drop you off and everything is grand so she's like no it's fine just drop me off at my friend's place i'll just wait for him at that house um you don't have to worry about yourself you don't have to worry about it it's handled so anyway i mean i'm Sebenzi from the first date <clears throat> uh incident um 
you know it's just vibes vibes come on the second red flag um fast forward to sort of a few weeks later i'm not sure how long like a month almost a month later um there was a show in particular that i wanted to go to um in fact it was one of the reasons that we started talking because i was going to go to this particular show my favorite artist was performing in johannesburg um it was my first time seeing this artist and i was like and this was a dingai and that's how we kind of initiated she initiated the conversation with me in the DMs regarding the show. Anyway, that's even besides the point. So anyway, there was this particular artist that we wanted to go see. Um, I had bought my ticket separately. She had bought hers and we were going to go together to the show. It was really, really exciting. Now, we came to now the week of this show in particular. And she said to me that she, oh, I can't come. I'm so sorry. Um, I have to be out of Johannesburg for work. My city, she's in Cape Town. Sharp, I'm very disappointed and gutted at this because Benny Tolba is our enjoy my favorite artist and I'll have Equinium by my side. But she was like, no, she can't go. Damn Kumbe, like obviously for some time, but I got over it and I was like, you know what? I'm still going to the show. I'm gonna take a friend of mine along. Anyway, uh fast forward then to the day of the event in particular i'm all excited from the day from the morning this show is going to happen around i think eight o'clock was the planned time of the show um i hit up a friend of mine i said okay my son let's go together and she was just like okay cool and the plan with this show was that i was going to take my amanda's ticket to um and give it to my friend so that i can go with my friend because i always wanted to go to this to the show and i was not going to miss it just because yeah now we're out of town and now you agree she what you know babe i'm gonna give you uh my ticket it's okay you can go with a friend totally do it go um and it was you know we agreed on that so the morning now of the show i'm like hey morning babe um please forward me that ticket so that i can give it to my friend she's like okay sharp no problem i'll send it to you um just having breakfast at the moment um i'll give it to you during the course of the day i'm saying i go to work i go about my day pango three pango three um, I get a, a DM from her on Twitter and she's telling me that she's mugged. Hey! Thing I called initially because my obviously my initial reaction is like, oh my god, you got mugged! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What happened? Are you okay? All of those things. So, the, I'm obviously at this point, I'm very worried about her immediate. Um, her immediate self unjani emotionally i'm i'm worried sick about her and she's like no i'm fine i'm just i've been at the police station trying to sort that out they took my laptop they took my phone right i'm like okay but and she explains it and she says she's being mugged outside a coffee shop where she was and i was like okay just sort out your stuff um and then if you get a phone please uh, just call me if you can i just want to talk to you um and she's like oh okay cool um i'm obviously still excited uh about the show that is happening tonight at the same time uh, i tell my friend yo my friend just my girlfriend just told me that uh she got mugged and she doesn't have the obviously at this time also um I didn't want to also be insensitive and be asking her, okay, can I get that ticket also, by the way, you know, in the middle of um, vacation. Um, so I don't ask her about it. Um, and I'm like, okay, just sort yourself out. I'll f I knew I was going to figure it out in terms of the ticket when I get to that place. And I kind of knew because the service provider or where we bought the tickets um i kind of know the system because i've been to a show that used the same system or the same ticket system so i knew that when i get to the venue if i just tell them my name um they'll be able to find me on the system we drive all the way to the show and when we get to the door i'm like yo to the ticket office people there yo mamelani 
you're never gonna believe the story i was gonna come with my girlfriend here now my girlfriend got marked today and we don't have a ticket but i have my friend here she wants to take her place so can you like really assist us and the girls the, the, the ticket ladies they were like okay your, your your story sounds dodgy let's let's rope in our manager uh we called um the manager and he was like okay cool no problem what's um the girlfriend's name okay i took a piece of paper and i'm the with confidence amanda but in the same name but in the email address and i hand it to the manager and i'm like yo manager this is the name please run around your system our manager comes back five minutes ten minutes later and is like uh sorry ma'am as much as this I'm like, what do you mean? And no confidence. But the ayaz cherry am, the ayaz am cherry. It change later. It will form an end. Class system yen because the system yen you are wrong. Because my queen is never wrong. So anyway, I came with that energy. But they are wrong. And then he's like, um, no, we've searched the system. Um, in fact, he brought his phone over to us, and he's like, here you go. Here are the names of the tickets search for yourself and see what this person is there or not hi can you answer the phone you got my brother just scrolling just scrolling and i'm like okay let's search for my name because i definitely have a ticket and i had my ticket in my emails um i searched for my name at first we didn't find it i was like yeke yeke nin it's your fault gandhi it wasn't um we were searching for the wrong day and then we searched again and my name popped up with my email address um and what awkward thing because i'm starting to realize that this person potentially lied to me and didn't buy the ticket as they said so i me and my friend are searching through all of these i don't know how many names we're searching through and this is an alphabetical order so i'm getting like oh hey baka amanda but at the beginning hey the drunk and get funny hi my sister me oh oh amanda i'm gonna call her amanda Mazibuko. Hey, it's John Gom. Go M. Maz. Mazibuko. Mazi. Hi, bro. Hi, Tololo Amanda Mazibuko. Betunana. Her name was not on the list. Hi, Kiro. Wow, okay. I'm looking at my friend like. She's looking at me like. Push. and it was really embarrassing for me because I was like what the fuck is going on here and I can't really reach her because I cannot phone so this is I have my friend who's here um she doesn't have a ticket for the show she potentially is gonna have to uh wait for me outside while I enjoy the show like it didn't make sense but my sense I'm show and I really really felt guilty for bringing her all of the way to 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 Johannesburg and you know ha her having to sit in the car or something like that and then it broke around that time as well i didn't have money to be buying a ticket um and also tickets were not on sale at the door so that was another problem or another risk that we had to manage but anyway eventually we spoke to the manager and i was like okay thank you so much for your assistance uh, can we please 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 purchase a ticket then so my friend and i went half half on a ticket oh she was such a good sport uh, we went half half on a ticket and um bought her a ticket and we enjoyed the rest of the show now during the show she blown up my toy oh I found a phone just call me when you're done da, 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 da. and i'm also as a girlfriend and i'm also like trying to enjoy this show that i've been anticipating for months so anyway, after the show, I had phones, I had problems with my phone, but eventually I reached her the morning after, um, the morning after the show, and I'm like, hi, um, yo, I had a great time, Isolo, um, but your name was not on the system. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> What's up with that? Um, and she totally ignored my my question. Uh, she said, oh, I'm so happy that you enjoyed the show. 
and then she changed the subject and then I was just like what <laughs> that was I think the beginning of the end and the beginning of the I don't know what to call it just the position where you don't really feel secure but you also I was in a place where I was like I didn't really want to rock the boat um, but that was like the first red flag and the first realization that hey I'm dealing with uh, somebody who's not really 100% truthful and I think at that time I also reached out to my friends and I was like hey guys now these are the inconsistencies that I see here um, what is going on especially surrounding her place because when we needed to go to a place we would never um, we would never eventually go to her place there was always always an excuse like towards the end of the relationship there were more red flags there was another incident where I needed to go to her place um, we were gonna spend I think this was now uh, just before lockdown the country was in mayhem Ramaphosa was closing everything and I was not gonna quarantine with her for that first 21 days um, I was gonna spend gonna be alone and she was gonna be alone and she was gonna go home home right so my city for an example for the sake of the story or Amanda is from Kruger stop uh, Kruger stop is a town somewhere here in Gauteng um, so she was gonna go home home to Kruger stop where her mom and dad are um, and I was gonna be at my place uh, and work from home from there so Ramaphosa is closing the country everyone's shutting down everyone's in a panic the country's in mayhem um, and we decided okay we're gonna spend uh, two days before the actual national lockdown together uh, because we're not gonna see each other for such a long period of time anyway we decide we're gonna meet up we're gonna spend the two nights at her place and then after that we depart she goes home to Krugerstorp I go to my place so um, we were given also the day off at work and so I was ready um, we were gonna meet like around 12 o'clock or I was gonna start driving to a place around 12 o'clock and she was gonna do the same leave from work or leave from home home from Krugerstorp to her place um, and we we're gonna meet so young Ogu, um, on the day in particular that we're supposed to meet, um, I said we were supposed to meet at one o'clock. Hey, I think one o'clock was there to work it. Nothing. In fact, eventually I took a nap. For me, it wasn't strange for me not to be able to reach her. She was saying, um, um, I could only really reach her on WhatsApp and make that I could be on I reached her eventually and she's like, No, I can't leave. My dad says that I can't leave. And I'm just like, At this point, in at this juncture, and even alone too. I'm really really disappointed I'm gutted and she's just telling me no my dad doesn't want me to leave it's locked down he's scared blah 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 yeah I was just like so over it I was like okay cool whatever I was mad at her again um, and I got over it um, and then we moved on from that and I think at this point, I kind of was like, mm -mm -mm. but again, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not rocking the boat. I'm not asking any questions. I'm not. But at the back of my mind, I knew that you can't shy manzi regarding her place. There's no way we need to go to a place, and there's always excuses. I was able to um, go to her now home, home in Krugerstorp, because we couldn't meet um, in her place. Let's say she lives in. The Rosebank. We were gonna meet up in her place in Rosebank. We couldn't meet um, Gala two days before lockdown because she said her dad didn't want her to leave. Blah 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 blah. Um, and we and I decided to drive to her home home in Kruger Stop. Anyway, we drive to a home home in Kruger Stop. But what I know, to, I think this is when I kind of carved that. I've been played here. The first thing I did when I walked into her room, I noticed 
a laptop and a laptop sleeve now the one thing in particular about this laptop and laptop sleeve was that if you remember she had said that she was mugged when she was in Cape Town for work a few weeks earlier um, so when I saw the laptop and her and it was a work laptop so in my mind I'm thinking to myself okay maybe it's replaced from work but it didn't look like it was a new laptop but at the same time I was like sometimes workplaces don't really give you new assets if you lose it so they do kind of replace it with an existing uh, laptop from somewhere and also that laptop was replaced pretty fast but anyway that's beside the point um, so when I saw that laptop and what was particular about the laptop sleeve was the fact that this laptop sleeve I had bought for her as a gift um, during the course of the relationship and she had the same laptop sleeve when she was in Cape Town for work and the reason I know this and the reason I remember this in very vividly in my mind was because she had posted pictures of herself at the beach holding this laptop sleeve in one hand and she was taking a selfie so I knew that when she was in Cape Town in fact on that day in particular where she was allegedly mugged um, she had that laptop and that laptop sleeve so when I walked into her room and I saw that laptop uh, laptop and laptop sleeve I was like Kono Chaiman's up no ways, no ways, no ways. If you are mugged, guys, please tell me down in the comments. Please tell me in the comments. If you are mugged, surely, surely they were going to take the laptop sleeve and they were going to take. I don't know how. She never really elaborated on the story about the markation, but she, her phone and laptop were taken. Right? And um, the mugged was. Clips. Um, she didn't say to me I was held at gunpoint and asked to unpack my bag. She said she was mugged. Fast, fast, fast. So in my mind I was expecting that if the laptop is gone, yeah, I'm in a laptop sleeve. Unless and and it, like it didn't make sense to me. And then I saw a couple of things in her room as well. There was just like a lot of inconsistencies. <clears throat> yeah, things were now tying up uh, about things that she had said in passing. Um, and it all seemed to me that I talk about a lot of things in the relationship and the major one in particular is her living situation and I never to this day knew what was up with the living situation um, and then eventually this was now towards the end of the relationship um, we eventually broke up and I went through the fast stages of grief because I was like what the fuck what the fuck brah um, and one of the things that I did uh, while I was going through Umkowam was kind of dig deeper into this investigation because a lot of things during the relationship I didn't want to question. But now that I'm out of the relationship, I'm actually like, for my own closure, let me investigate um, what had been happening and, 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 and whatnot. So during the course of the relationship, she had told me that this house in particular um, that or oh, this place of hers that is in Rosebank she um, she was not renting she was buying and the reason I re she bought it um, and the reason I um, I recall this very vividly and particularly is because we had an extensive conversation about it and she was telling me how proud she was of herself that she bought this place and it's her own place and yada 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 and I was like okay now that's great also you're young yo this is a great achievement etc etc so I was like mm, I was wearing a cleanie and remember I have the address of this alleged place of hers that is in Rosebank um so I did my FBI investigations um uh, my sister has this website that you can you can access all the property details of all of the properties in South Africa and I'm being legit about this um, she's into all of these entrepreneurship things that's beside the point anyway what happens on the website you log on to this website um, she has access to it because 
it was exclusive um you log on to this website um you put in the property you put in the address of the property that you want to find out and this uh the system will bring bring up all of the property details of the all of the property details of the house that you're looking for in particular so in order to test the system the fuck address has a kind of queens down pulled up the property details of um my my home or my, uh, my our house back home my mom's house it, it showed my mom's name her id number my dad's name her his id number um how many square meters what we pay on levies the value of the house jonga when it was purchased according to your website i can't doing a call you i searched i tested the system again and i searched for uh, my sister's um my sister's address um here in johannesburg i put her address her unit number all of those things in the system and it brought up her name as well the square meter how much she pays for levies how much uh the the value of the place at the time so i tested the system and the system was telling me that this system is pretty accurate so what i did was i went to my whatsapp messages and i pulled up the address that she had given me of this alleged place right guess what i'm sure by me telling you this you already know what happened i put in the property details and the address of this place in particular i even had the unit number and it pulled up a trust fund the house belonged to a trust fund that was not even her surname so don't come in my in the comments and be like, no, it was a trust fund. She was a trust fund baby. No, she was not a trust fund baby. She had said that she had bought the house in her name. And her name was not there. Yo, I get that one. That one got cool when I found this fact out. Um, it kind of brought everything else in question about the things that she had told me in the relationship. I think when one when a person when you find out that a person lied about um who they are or what they have or whatever it is and for whatever reasons it kind of calls into question everything about the relationship and all of these inconsistencies and and then yeah we do now go on that go uh, um i'll post the relationship because i was kind of now coming into terms and really confronting the questions that i never really um I never really wanted to confront when I was in the relationship, when I didn't want to disturb the peace, when I didn't want to rock the boat. I was now faced with all of those questions and I really had to, um, I really had to, I really had to kind of answer those for myself and kind of answer wider questions of uh, why I didn't ask the questions that I needed to ask. Why is it that I didn't feel like I had standards to be met by her? And Imagine guys, this is now lockdown, uh, the country is in mayhem, I'm alone, I'm hardly seeing my friends. Then go, then go, but I think the positive side of it was that I also was, because of lockdown and all the, the restrictions and things we couldn't do, I was really able to afford therapy for myself. So I was also doing school at the time and then go I'm like, yeah, and then go and I was really not focusing on my studies at this point because of heartbreak. Um, and so I decided to put myself um, so I called my friend this one night in particular and I'm like show me and you call and he go right and he go right um, I called her up and she was she was just like yo I understand what you're going through can I give you a helpline yeah now call her any helpline yourself it's what I am a psychologist and she was just like girl you know you can do it she just like was motivating me with but i think at that point in juncture i realized that i really need to go um into therapy and kind of deal with this because i had never seen myself at that low dandy on the low 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 um and i went to therapy and i found out why i didn't want to rock the boat the whole um, interaction with her including the talking phase was about eight eight weeks 
about eight weeks eight to ten weeks i think in total so i was really like trivializing it because it wasn't such a long duration of time but i think it taught me everything that i needed to know about myself at that point in, in at that point in my life um and really it was the best learning curve i post that i laugh about it now um, and I really kind of wonder why it is that she lied about all of these things to me. Things to me that really did not matter really. Um, it took me a long ass time to get to where I am today. And yeah man, that's the story about how I was dribbled. Um, and I learned, the lesson learned from this is that, guys, kumtolo nibo ngena ge certified copy of Inches Yoyako. Don't go there with the original. It was original gets mishandled get on get certified copy and then a government work again then we need get the original documents of in case you have otherwise guard your heart man um and you know this thing of us lesbians moving in moving uh moving at yeah, the speed of light when it comes to his nose to hollow says to allow satini go satini go hey those things are dangerous. You really, really need to get to know a person over and above, you know, being in love and being excited. Really, really kind of get to the grips of this person, get to know them. For me personally, I learned why I moved so fast in relationship because Jonga, that thing moves so fast. Sassy, talking face, you know, everything literally just happened so fast. And for me, I got, got to know the reason why I moved so fast particularly in relationships and that has nothing to do with my my queerness i know a lot of lesbians then go to oh we move so fast ah this lesbian stereotype or whatever i know my reasons and i know i no longer do that uh, yeah those were the lessons learned and we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for clicking and for watching if you did enjoy this video tell me what do you think was the reason because to this day i'm just like what the fuck dog <laughs> and my therapist told me not to worry about it and not to fixate too much on the reasons it happened it happened um i need to focus on myself and actually look at the reasons why i attracted her in the first place um but anyway guys comment down below what you think um i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace in the middle east